Hello. <laughs> um, so, look at this. Oh, can you see? It's 10 a.m. Wow, the earliest I think we've gone up this entire trip. Actually, it was a work at nine. And I like, as soon as my alarm got, went off, I shot out of bed. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, it's 10 a.m. And we've got that really busy day planned that I said. I think we're gonna head to the, it's called Samsa Terrarium. And basically, I think it's an experience where you walk around the entire place barefoot. Sounds weird. Um, but it's sort of, I think it says it's designed to like make you appreciate all these different senses and feelings. Um, and it, it's supposed to help you appreciate life more or something like deep like that. If there's any information on it at the place, I'll include it so that, you know, it backs up what I'm saying and I'm just trying to be cringy and make something up. Hopefully it says that. I think that's what, when I found out about it, I think that's what the person said. Anyway, it should be fun, so we'll do that. And then we've got a couple of museums and then I'm gonna go around Seoul forest which is nice we've been around that area before um but not properly so let's see what that's about i don't think it's forecast to rent it as well which is good be nice to not have to worry about it pouring down i mean it's still might it might take us by surprise and all of a sudden start torrential raining again but we'll just have to see about that um but it's still like 20 23 degrees or something i think that's currently it says it's 17 Oh no, the highest temperature I'll be is 20 degrees today, which is a bit, you know, it's starting to tone down a bit. There's a day next week where it's going to be 15 degrees. Oh, I can't wait for that day. You know, I wanted to, like I packed, <laughs> I packed this new jumper that I got and it's really heavy. And obviously like that's annoying for my suitcase. And I thought when we got here, when it was still like 27 odd degrees, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm not even gonna be able to wear it. And I've packed it and it's taken up so much space in the room, but it's fine. Cause I think it's starting to get a little bit chillier. Um, so we'll just have to see if I can finally wear it. And if I can, I will be wearing it all the time. Cause it looks, well, it is I've tried on. It's very cozy. Anyway, enough waffling. Um, I will see you guys when we get to the terrarium. I'm out film some clips in between then if anything interesting happens probably not it's just a subway in it so oh i'm wearing that t-shirt that i bought from h&m finally just my blue jeans as well uh, i've got my normal necklace and then this one that my mum got me like six years ago or something in newcastle airport when um and my me and my grandma going on holider and then i've got this one as well it's like quite a fine chain it's got little stars on so it's nice because it incorporates the silver and like the gold aspects of this these two so yeah anyway josh just texted me saying he's ready so we're gonna head out catch you later so this was the first museum art gallery thing we went to today it was called the page gallery it's quite difficult to find but once we did um, it was pretty simple. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually really, really enjoyed this exhibit. The glass work was so beautiful. I love stuff like this, like when things look like water. I don't know why, I just really enjoy it. So I took so much time, even though, you know, oh, it's just some words or it's just some splash looking pieces of glass on the wall. I went round so slowly. Oh, there's me. Hello. Um, I walked around so slowly, looked at each piece in detail because I just thought it was so beautiful and the colour of that blue is like my favourite colour. Um, yeah, I'm trying to voice over because otherwise it's just silent. There were the glass and then they had mirrors as well so it was really nice. The light was like reflecting all around the room. It was beautiful. Um, there was another exhibit in this little gallery as well. I didn't find that one as interesting it was still pretty cool um but i think this exhibit was my second favorite thing we did today the d museum the thing that was themed around like love was really good and we went to a figure museum as well which i didn't really introduce but 
when I'd start talking about Anakin Skywalker later. That's the third museum we went to. Anyway, he, this guy, this artist, was more architectural. Um, so you've got, like, a lot of it looked like sort of modern, um, like, furniture pieces. So a lot of it had drawers in. They looked like shelving units. This one was so cool just because of, again, the way that the light was, like, refracting and reflecting off like against the wall it was so cool i really liked that i could have st like stood and said looks like ice cubes yeah i could have stood and stared at it for so long um i'm rambling with this voiceover but this one also had mirrors on the inside as well so there's me waving to you guys hello um <laughs> yeah and it was so quiet there was only one other okay, person i appreciate there. this is not the best angle so i'm gonna keep my mask on to hide my double chin but I caved and bought another one of these. Uh, I bought this one too. It's a little like ghost monster thingy. Um, we didn't go back to that shop, but there's a little like vending machine um, in the Honda department store. So yes, this one doesn't have an ice. Right, Hopefully I don't get the same one that I got yesterday. I'm gonna take out the accessories just because it is the same one. Oh, the one that in. Oh my god, is this gonna be Cousin X? It's absolutely massive. I would die. Oh my god, is this the red Morticia? <gasps> oh my god, double Morticia. Yeah, she's got some flower stems here. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. What a queen. Look, she's like... She's sat on a chair and she's flocked like her dress. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay. I'll open this. Bougie queen. Look at that. And she just sits. She's literally. There's like an indent for where she sits. <laughs> oh my god. Gorgeous. She's got little spiders in her little thingies. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Yes. I'm actually really happy with that. But in the ring. So. Okay, I'm excited for this one. A ghosty. Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot about this. Scarlet Morticia. <laughs> it's not focusing. This has a card in it, which one of them I think Let me you see first. Oh my god. <gasps> it's rainbow. Oh my god, look how cute. <sighs> okay, I either wanted the really colourful one or like the really emo one, like the black shadowy one. Oh my god. This one's got a little card too. Oh my god. Okay, I cannot buy any more of these, but they are so cute. <gasps> That's this segment of me unboxing my two little thingies. Oh, we've just been to an um, like an art gallery and it was amazing. There was this one exhibition and oh my God, I loved it. There'll be clips, I'm sure. Anyway. Oh, I'm almost sat in Soul Forest. Look at that. It's very quiet everywhere, so. Probably making too much. Oh, there's some sculptures over there. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, you can't see. It's like there. I might go and have a look at them. Alright. Bye. Oh, look how tall this building is. Oh, you can't. The trees are in the way. Anyway. It's pretty unavailable here. That is nice. It is very cheesy, which is my biggest compliment. Well, I'm starving, so I'll put up with it. Well, after, um, we didn't end up going to that terrarium but lol we got there and you needed a reservation and it was like fully booked um it looked really good so i'm not surprised that it's very popular um so instead we're just gonna walk we're at bike news so far as right now and yeah sm entertainment but obviously like i'm not that we didn't come here for sm <laughs> um we went to that gallery called the page gallery and there was two different exhibitions on and the first one was my favorite um, so yeah, well, I think we're just going to explore. So far, it seems to have like a lot of um, art in it as well. Uh, there's a museum over there. It's called Dean Museum, so we might check that out. It's probably just going to be a chill day, but lots of um, interesting stuff for the vlog to see. Oh, wow. Guys, look at me in town. I didn't even really want these. I just thought it was really funny. Doesn't it look so real? Doesn't it look like he's in the photo booth with me? Wow. Okay, so we stumbled upon an NCT 127 pop-up event theme Bobby, which was great. Love them. Um, and then we also went to another museum, but I couldn't film anything in there. But this is the outside. Super cute. Um, Guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see from the glare, but I found Bear. Oh my God, look at him. Hey, Anakin. Ignore. We don't talk about Darth Vader. Anakin only. Oh, this trim is kind of terrible here. In the butterfly garden. And so far, I have seen one butterfly. I will report back if I see any more. There we have another one, a yellow one. Now the the uh, butterfly garden was very underwhelming. Uh, I saw three butterflies, I think. Um, maybe they're all asleep or something. I don't know. Oh well, we tried. Take a picture of goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry, mom. <laughs> also, people say that when you come to, I don't know whether I've already said this or not, when you come to Korea, the water pressure in the shower is like really different. Um, I don't know if this is mainly like Americans talking or what. They say that the shower pressure is different and that you can experience hair loss because it's like that aggressive on your head. So they always say to get like a converter for the shower head um, from Daiso. The first night we were here, or like, you know, when we got here and I was like a sweaty, disgusting mess, or more of one than normal. Um, I couldn't be bothered to go to Daiso, so I just had a shower. I. Honestly, my hair, I feel like it's never looked better. I don't want to like, you know, but seriously, like it's not, no more has fallen out than normal. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it seems to be really like voluminous. And I have a problem with that with my hair because it's super flat and thin and stupid. So yeah, a bit of enlightenment, but uh, Everybody's hair's different, so just because I haven't gone bald doesn't mean that you would, wouldn't. Anyway, a 
boring commentary from me while I wait for my lead game to load. But all this time we thought it was Mingy screaming. It's this guy. You know. Oh. Oh. He just sits there and cries every night. Oh. This just in. I thought it was the new cat meowing, which it was. And I said, oh, it's not Mingy. No, it is. They're meowing at each other. They're both crying. They need rehoming. I'll have them. I'll take them home. Mingy wouldn't let me touch him though. So I guess I'll just take the other one instead. And then Mingy can cry. Mingy can go and cry because he'll be left alone. I'll take Jeff and this new one with us. I'll uh, update you when we've figured a name for the new one. All right, lads, we've got two big bags here ready to do the video everyone's been waiting for. And we'll unwrap everything. Oh, here's the receipt. Look at this. Spoilers of what we're going to eat. And this is how much it came to. 36,400, which was about what? 22 quid. 22 pound. Okay, we'll show you everything we got to sick. Okay, a ginormous mistake has just been made. Uh, I just realized that I was filming us setting all this up and then I must have pressed record and it stopped recording and we've just literally tasted all of it. So rather than pretend like we haven't had it, we'll just go through everything again. Maybe say it in a bit more detail our thoughts and opinions on everything um because last time we kind of just took a bite and then didn't really say anything so we'll start where we started last time hello this is editing sass i didn't actually realize how badly i messed up the mcdonald's thing because not only did i not film us try like tasting them for the first time or like not press record by accident I also didn't record me showing you each of the food. I sat there and did it and I showed the camera and I was like, this is what this burger is. This is what this burger is. This, I sat and did that. Did any of it actually record? No, no it didn't. So <laughs> this is the worst taste test foreign McDonald's menu video you will ever see. Originally I was gonna do it as like a separate like bonus video. No, it's getting shoved in at the end of this vlog because it's so terrible. I literally, <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so funny. The clips that I have on my camera are everything that I thought we weren't recording. So it's like when I put the camera down and it's like filming the ceiling, it's terrible. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't get our first impressions of us again. I'm not going to, like, refilm it like we haven't. I'm just going to stick it in here because, like, whatever. Uh, we might do it with a different, like, Burger King or... I don't really like Taco Bell. Burger King, maybe? I don't know. What a fail. What an idiot. I'm so bad. Anyway, enjoy us trying McDonald's. <laughs> this is the 1955, I think that's what it's called, burger. I took all my stuff off all my toppings josh has got it all on so his review is probably better than mine um i'll try it on camera for you <laughs> what i can say the sauce is really good i don't think i don't think there's a sauce like that in the uk on the burgers no like, it's definitely not like Big Mac sauce. It's like a bit smoky. Mm. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's delicious. It's like really good. Um, so I would recommend that burger. Josh's like has bacon and stuff in it as well. I took that out. But it's, it's decent, you know. Um, I, I could do without the tomato. I think tomato uh, actually kind of ruins it, you know. Well, I would have I'd take, taken mine out anyway. But I really, I, I enjoy that, even though, you know, I've taken half the toppings off. Then, then we tried the bulgogi one. I've only got this little tiny bit left, but it's got the bulgogi with the sauce and then egg. I eat this. Mm. 
See, I think I prefer the first one to that one. Yeah, so I said in the clip before, Trevor's is gonna hate me because I'm just gonna try and repeat myself <laughs> all the time. But I've had a few bulgogi burgers since we've been here and I've had bulgogi before and it's really good. Like I really enjoy it. It's, I think I like it a lot because it's quite sweet. And normally I don't like when savory things taste sweet, but for some reason this works. So I enjoy that. I, I think I prefer the first one too, but I think it's nice that it has the egg in it. I think it adds a bit more, mm. you know, it adds something, something different. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think the sauce on the first one was nicer. Mm -hmm. It's still good, you know? Yeah. Okay, and then we had the oh, chicken. Yeah. This one I can show you a bit of a better okay. cross section. But you've got, you get two mozzarella sticks in it, and then the chicken patty, and it has like marinara sauce on it. Oh, sugar. And like mayonnaise as well, I think. And whatever, lettuce or what, what you love in that. <laughs> Just myself eating. <laughs> oh. It would have been so much more natural if I'd have actually checked that it was recording before because now it just seems like we're not even doing like a taste test. We're just doing like a really bad review. It was literally filming for 12 minutes. <sighs> like, and I just had no idea. But I said, I never really get chicken burgers and I don't really get mozzarella sticks either. This doesn't really taste like anything to me, really. <laughs> like it's okay, I would. I think I would eat it, but I don't think I like or dislike it. It's kind of just, mm, to me. I quite like the one. It's just like a spicy chicken burger, basically. It's good. Spicy? Yeah. Well, not really, but. Yeah. It has a bit of a kick to it. It does, I think that's the sauce. Um, then, oh, I can do it with a fresh, not the one that I took a bite out of. But I tried it without sauce because I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to try it like it was, see if it was too dry, if it needed sauce. So I'll, I'll show you what. <laughs> They're nice then. They are. They're a bit sim- like, a bit similar taste-wise to chicken selects. Obviously, looks-wise, they're a lot different. But they, um, when you bite into them, I'm not gonna show you. It has like orange around the outside, so there's like a spicy coating, I think. Um, so like the chicken selects have that little bit of spice or whatever. That's they're okay. Yeah, and then Josh. Oh didn't get to try his shrimp burger because he was about to bite it and then I realised that we weren't recording. So you get this one authentic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's pink. Well, it's not that bad. But I would not choose it again. What the te the taste? Nah, I think the texture, the texture is just like, ugh. Yeah, I'm not trying that. It's like wet. Oh. <laughs> Ew. So is that the is that the worst out of the? Mm. I mean, I, I only got it because it's not in the UK. Yeah. I wasn't really wanting to have this. No, Josh wanted to try, whereas I. I don't really eat shrimp. Like I, I have eaten shrimp, and I think it's okay. But I think an entire patty of shrimp mm. just doesn't appeal to me. Um, so I didn't want to try that. And I'm funny about textures and how things look. And him biting into no. no. Instantly, I know that that's not something that I would enjoy. She's not very good. You've tried though. Yeah, exactly. And. Did, was this on camera this time? Apparently Josh was disgusted oh. by the sweet and sour sauce. To be fair, I only really get ketchup in the UK. 
So I don't know what the sweet and sour in the UK is, but that is a rancid. Oh, yeah. it's minging. Do you want to try it? No. It's vile, man. It's the one in the green. Yeah. Um, I also quickly explained at the end of the last clip, well, clip, you'll never see it because it never got filmed, that the nuggets taste healthier here. They taste baked, not fried, or whatever they do. Yeah, but it's still that signature McDonald's chicken nugget. Just tastes a bit, you know. I don't think they're, they're not as crispy. You know, sometimes you bite into a nugget and it makes that really nice crunch sound. These ones don't. Anyway, you got the authentic reaction to the shrimp burger <laughs> and you will get the authentic reaction to the churros. But all I can do is say sorry that we had to retake bites of everything else. Um, if we do this for another restaurant, I promise to check that I'm recording first. A rookie error, you know, me being such a professional YouTuber now. I should have checked. You live and you learn. It's my first mistake. Anyway, see you when we have the churros. Okay, we are recording. So, even though we're very full, I'm gonna try the churros. Um, fun fact, I hate cinnamon. Like, it gives me migraines, but Okay. They smell like cinnamon. When it's like cinnamon sugar, it's fine. But if I can like smell like just pure cinnamon, it's not a good, it's not a good look for me. So I thought I would try it. They smell like, um, you know, the pretzel stores. Obviously it's a very similar thing. Anyway, here it is. It's just looking like a churro. Cheers. I'm gonna eat this off camera because Johnny won't screenshot. Very crispy, I mm. didn't even hear. Mmm. Was there not a dip in the bag? No. No dip, just churro. But it's actually really good. Let me see if you can if it's still crunchy. ASMR. Oh, I bet that sounds grim, you know. Yeah, it's gonna look <laughs> <up> my nails. <laughs> I think these are really good. I think that the UK McDonald's needs to do these mm. because McFlurries, yeah, they're delicious. But I mean, nobody kind of likes the apple. But do you like the apple pie? Ugh. No. They're always like 700 degrees. Yeah. These, good. Anyway. See ya. Bye. Hello. I'm gonna throw this in at the end of the vlog. Uh, I'm using my tripod. Woo. Um, it came with a camera. I didn't buy it on purpose. I'm not taking it that seriously, okay? Um, I just quickly thought I would show you what I got today. Um, just a little, you know, accumulation of things. So, as you saw, Got my little, my little ghosty guy. Look how cute. Oh my God, he's so adorable. So I've got that. I'll probably show you a little bit more in detail of uh, Tish, as Gomez likes to call her. <clears throat> she can stand up or she can sit down. She's a versatile queen. Um, this is her. Oh. Come on, come on, Tish. Oops, come on, you got this, you got this. What, there we go. So she's wall sitting, look at that. Every day is leg day. And then you can see the little spiddies, little spiders in her thingy my bobbies. Again, resting bitch fish. <laughs> resting bitch face. She's got a scissors, a stem, and then the little accessories with two little rose heads. Yeah, you can't see them. And then her chair, her gorgeous piece of furniture. Ooh. So yeah, that's those figures. Then from the D, 
D Museum, whatever it was called. Um, they had lots of merch for the art, the different artworks. So I got a tote bag, didn't need one, but I really enjoyed this particular um, section. It was basically like an accumulation, obviously like any, any art gallery is. Loads of different artists, but it was all themed around love. So I liked this particular section. Um, a lot of this stuff was in French. So it's really nice for me, you know, being a Francais student. So this is the tote bag, came in a box. And it's a really nice size. Looks like this. I'll show you the artwork. Details, it's got two people on it. And then here it says, Romantic Days, Les Trente by Nina Kolchitskaya. Sorry, I don't know how you pronounce that name, but I thought I would try. So that's my tote bag. I can get rid of the box now, even though, you know, it's nice because it's got the artwork on it, but it's just more room, isn't it? And then, like I said in the last museum we went to, um, postcards, love them. So I got six this time. My mum thought it was funny how I said my lucky number was four and then I ended up getting five. Um, but we've got this one. There was a lot of like, sort of like anime kind of style. So I got that one, this guy. Then the same design as my tote bag. Try not to get the glare. That. And in a similar style by the same lady. You got this one. And then this is like photography. So this isn't like an art piece, it's a photo. And it's two people looking like angels. Can't really show you because of the glare. Over the city, and that's by Paolo Reilly. The anime person was Imi Ra in Korean. And then these two were in the sale, so I snatched them up. This one, love it, by An Minju. And then this one, which I don't really, I, I literally don't know what's going on in this one, but I thought it was quite funny. And this is by I Ilju. So that was those. And then, you know, Booth by Bryant, like that um, TikTok guy and he, well, he's a photographer and he has that booth. There was like a similar one of those. So I thought it was really funny, but the first one took me off guard. So I look, I hate it. I might just like snip that one off. But I got some photos from there. This is so cringy to me because I hate how I look in all of them. But yeah, that's me. Um, I also got some things for two seconds. Oh. Very unprofessional of me that I didn't have everything ready before I started to film, but like, I don't care. So, from the first museum, the like the glass sort of style one, I took one of these, which is, it was by Rob Wynn. It was called After Before. Just a map of the ex ex exhibit. <laughs> and then what all the pieces were called. Um, and then a little bit about him on the back. It's in Hangar, so, so I might read it, I might not. And then my <laughs> funniest thing that I got today. There was like an NCT 127 pop-up for their song. Two bears, two bears, one Porsche. Anyway, didn't know it was there. Uh, there was no cues for the photo booth, so I was like, oh my god, yeah, you choose a member and then you take pictures, like, next to, next to the member. So I picked Taeyong, oh no. So these, and it gave me two, I didn't want to, like, one is bad enough. Come on, come on, come on. So here, look at us, it looks so realistic, doesn't it? I was copying his poses, by the way, I'm not creative apart from this one. Uh, I'm not creative enough to come up with my own. Copied him. And I think that's all I got. Yep, I think it is. Oh, my ticket for the uh, 
Dean Museum. Anyway, end the vlog here. Today's been a fun one. Hope you enjoyed the content and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.